Pint and I'm with Jean, Jean Gonzalez and Alec who is the brewer. He's the head brewer here at the Perfect Pint and as you can see we're going to have a beer tasting and it was Jean's idea. He said let's go to the Perfect Pint and get drunk. <laughs> no he didn't. He said let's go to the Perfect Pint and have a beer tasting and uh, it looks like he meant why don't you go to the Perfect Pint and have a beer tasting because all of these are for me. But well, we're Alec, getting, sorry, we're getting ice. Don't worry. They're getting some something later. Alec is going to introduce these beers as we go. So what's beer number one, Alec? Sweet child of mine. Sweet child of mine. Sweet child of mine is a honey wheat ale. So it honey wheat ale. It's um, brewed specifically for the summer uh, season, like right now. It's refreshing. A summer refreshing yeah, it beer. It has some notes of fruit and guava flavor. Fruit and guava. Yeah, all right, so, let's go. Uh, very mild. It's not very bitter. Easy to drink. Just 4.4% ABV. It tastes a little bit fruity, yeah. yeah. And it's 4% 4, 4 alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. And there's some added floral notes. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I can taste that. I, I, and, and just to introduce myself, I'm just a really boring <laughs> lager drinker. So all of this is really new to me. Right. You can bring that in if you like. Is that for Jane? Yes. Well, a lot of a lot of these are a lot of these are up fermented beers that anyway, they're, yes. they're more ales. Yeah. Yeah. They're oh. more ales. Okay, well what's our number two? Wizen. Wizen. Uh, Weizen is a heavy weizen, so it's um, another easy to drink beer uh, with banana and clove flavor. That's banana it. and what flavor? Clove. So banana produced, and clove. Yeah, produced from the yeast. So it's like a German, German style beer. Good with sausages. Oh yeah, this one's more recognizable for mm -hmm. me. I can taste the cloves. A little bit of a, a banana note in there. The flavor comes really from the yeast, more than the from hops. the yeast. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's that's the high fermentation that you're experiencing. The banana note. It's a chemical called diacetyl. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things about these beers is that they're so fresh, isn't it? Yes. Yes. So you, they're they're brewing every week. Um, all right. In small we're, batches. We're, we've got some food coming, but it hasn't got here yet. <laughs> What's, what's number three? Working Man. Working Man. Uh, working Man uh, is one of our favorite beers because that's where we started. It's our first brew, home brew that we serve in our first branch in BGC okay. uh, in 2014. This so it's like a pale ale. Uh, pale ale. Easy to drink. Uh, so it's in between working the man. lagers and the IPAs. So it's, it's okay. something right. mid, midpoint. Drawing a distinction there. Yeah. And that's nice as well. What, what have you got? I have uh, always my favorite sweet child of mine. Oh, you Not because I'm a Bon Jovi <laughs> fan, but it, it's always been my... Wasn't that Guns N' Roses? Guns N' Roses. Oh, sorry, yeah. yeah. Guns N' Roses. Right. Yes. Yeah. I'm embarrassed that I knew that, but um, I did. the end of the first tray and then we'll take a little bit of a break and wait for some food what is our fourth beer there goes tequila ah okay that's one of our newest beer is that the one that's yeah it's the one it's, it's a ghost type of beer g-o-s-t ghost so first time i did that uh, and we brewed that with wood H in tequila. Okay, so now the, the reason in, in itself is H in tequila wood. Yeah, so the reason for this is that beer barrels made of wood are extremely mm. difficult to maintain. Mm. And so these days everybody's just using kegs. But what they're doing here and in, in other places around the world is essentially marinating spirals of wood in various things and then putting them into the kegs mm. with the beer. And then that gives the beer the woody flavor, and in this case, the spirals were marinated in tequila. So it, you eliminate the risk of oxidation and evaporation. Oh, wow. I can just taste the yeah. wood and, straight and that, away. You know, yeah. it's a beautiful, it's, it's almost cologne like. You, you've got mm. wood, you've got some floral notes. 
it's really oh, yeah. you can taste, right? And then back on your back palate, you feel the food. We've got some food, and Chef Jean is going to explain exactly what it is. We've got this ravioli, black ravioli. And, and what's, so what's this, Jean? Well, it's, it's a ravioli filled with seafood, uh, done in a black uh, pasta wrapper. And you can see uh, uh, it's creamy and a lot of mushrooms, but there's that hint of dill that just spikes up, you know, the beers that you're tasting. Right, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, I love dill. And then we've got this bacon, heap of fresh bacon. Try it first without the dip. So you, you just appreciate the crispy bacon. Yeah. The, the, just the, just the flavor, the porky flavor. Oh, and like served with Asian pickles and oh, okay. uh, the soy based dip. Nice, nice. All right, but we're, we're back, we're back at it. So Alec is legally blonde. Your number one is legally blonde. Legally blonde. Alec is going to tell us very mm -hmm. briefly what's legally blonde. Because he made it. Legally blonde is our best seller. If you want something like a lager type of beer, legally blonde is a good uh, substitute. But who dreams up the names? Well, who's the, who's the marketing that's Alec. genius? That's Me Alec. and comes my up with brother Noel who's in charge of marketing. So we come up with all sorts of for our beers. I'd be wrong to say it's a floral tasting beer. Yeah, could be. But you know, when you're legally blonde, <laughs> it's got to be floral. <laughs> legally grey. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Mm. Of the previous testers that we had, I like the working man and the tequila. Um, but uh, if you want to put in the comments what you thought you might like, that would be good. All right, moving on. Number two is um, the jackfruit. This is out of the the drink list. This is a new. Oh, this is variant. this isn't on the menu. It's a, a session beer, so it's not always available because it really depends if jackfruit is available or not. So it's an IPA with fresh jackfruit inside. So that's it. So it's maybe um, a jackfruit. It's not overwhelming in terms of taste, but you can taste the hint oh, of jackfruit. Smells and the nice. smell. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I can easily taste the Even non beer drinkers like this. Mm. Mm. Even a lager person like myself. Oh this food's very good. We're not gonna keep you in suspense. Number three. Uh Juicy Bits. Juicy Bits. So Juicy Bits is an IPA. So mm -hmm. the alcohol strength is um, oh. 7%. Yeah. Want to explain what an IPA is, Alec? IPA, IPA well, IPA means in Japan. Yeah. This is chicken wings? Yes, sir. Yeah. Right. Okay. And the last one for the moment is... The, the last one is one of Chef Jean's favorite. It's called Holy Grail. It's our flagship beer. The whole it's an 8% ABV. Right, so let's try it. Well, it's, it's got a bitterness to it. Yeah. This is your favorite? One of them yeah. for, for, the, for the highly hot beers of Alec. For the IPAs. Yeah. What, what would you pair this beer with? What food? I'd have some ribs. Yeah. Um, so something meaty? Uh, mm -hmm. Compared with steaks and burgers. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Steaks and burgers. We've just got some more food, uh, and it looks pretty good. And Jean's going to explain exactly what it is. We've got an oyster sisig. Well, the oyster sisig is uh, uh, it's always a surprise classic. One of the most well-ordered items in perfect pint. Oh, good with beer. Yeah. Always. Oyster sisig. Yeah. Good with beer. Yeah. Chicken wings. Good mm. with beer. Mmm. <laughs> Well, I don't think I've ever made a video before and got drunk, but it's hardly inappropriate when you're at the perfect pint. 